My name is Jamin Gerker. I'm a realtor in South Central Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate. And today, the best way I can do that is by giving you a market update for what's going on in the Matsu Valley. This continues to be a pretty interesting market to be watching as we're kind of on watching how everything unravels with COVID-19 and how that's impacting our market. Before we get started with that though, do make sure you give this video a like, and if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel so you can receive more information like this in the future. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's market update. Now, the first thing that we need to check out is the residential market, as this is gonna be a big driving factor in all the other real estate markets in the area. The first thing we need to look at for the residential side is what's going on in the inventory. So what we're seeing is we're actually down year over date, but this is kind of a big thing I wanna point out. Inventory, the, the trend with the inventory is that it has been going up really since, since the March, April timeframe. And we'll talk more about why that's significant in the, in the summary, but that's kind of the big takeaway right now. The inventory right now is roughly about 420 odd homes, or I'm sorry, last year the, there was about 420 odd homes. Now there's about 390 as an estimate. So that's, that's number one. Inventory is slightly down from where we were this time last year. The second thing we need to look at for the residential side is how many properties are actually selling. So we're seeing there's actually only about, now we did sell a little bit more this time this year than we did last year, at least for the previous month. And we're seeing we're actually up by roughly 10 or 20 homes. So not a huge swing one way or the other. Now, the next thing I know everyone wants to know is what's going on in the average sold price. So this time last year, the average sold price was about 294,000. This year, it's about 341,000. So obviously seeing a pretty big upswing in the average sold price. And this really has been the trend for the entire year. We'll get more into why that is in the summary though. Switching gears a little bit, let's go and take a look and see what's going on in the condo market in the Matsu Valley. This isn't really a big part of the real estate market in the Matsu Valley. We're gonna take a look at it anyway though. The inventory we had this time last year was seven and this year it is eight. So big news if you're looking at uh, buying a condo in the Matsu Valley, you have more inventory now. The next big thing in the condo market is that this, the month of September last year, two condos were sold this month nine condos were sold. So yeah, good news if you're, a, if you're a seller. Lastly, and the thing that I know everyone's actually interested in is what's going on with the average sold price for condos. This time last year, it was about two, 215, 216. This year, it's about 221,000. So we're seeing a slight uptick in the average sold price for condos. Not a huge, huge shift like what we're seeing in, in the, uh, the residential side. Let's take a quick break here real quick. If you are wanting to see what Alaska looks like from kind of the boots on the ground perspective, then certainly do go check out my Instagram page. Link for that is gonna be down below. And I really do do my best just to kind of show what Alaska looks like from, from kind of the boots on the ground perspective. I do a lot of hiking, a lot of running. And so you do get a pretty good feel for what Alaska looks like. Um, do go check it out. Cause I mean, I just got back from a trip over in Kodiak Island and I've got some great pictures up there and it was a fun trip. So make sure you go check that out. And without further ado, let's go and check out and see what's going on for multifamily properties in the Matsu Valley. Now for multifamily properties, there were actually about 48 properties that were available this time last year, and now there are 30. So pretty precipitous drop in the number of properties that are actually available for multifamily. Now for the number of properties that have actually sold in the Matsu Valley, compared from last year to this year, 19 properties sold this time last year in September, six sold this year though. So we're seeing less multifamily properties are selling at least pre this month compared to the previous year's month in September. Now, finally, and the thing that I know everyone really cares about with multifamilies is what's going on with the average sold price. Well, in September last year is about 425,000. This year, it's about 383,000. So there's a lot of reasons for that, and we'll talk about why that is in the summary. All right, you made it to the end of the video. Let's talk summary here. So 
On the residential side, we're seeing that the trend is still that the inventory is going up and up and up. It's actually interesting seeing how the, the trends are actually reversed from how they usually are year over date because in March, the inventory has gone up and up and up and how it usually goes is that around this time of year, the inventory actually starts going down. Now, we still have less homes on the market this year than we did last year. Okay, so it's not like it's suddenly a buyer's market, but we are starting to see signs just anecdotally that things are starting to slow down a little bit on the residential side. So if you are looking to sell your property then, and you've been on the fence, you need to get off the fence if you possibly can and make it happen. If you are a buyer, help is on the way. Um, it is starting to slow down a little bit and that, that definitely is a, a really good sign for you. Keep in mind though, the best deal you can get right now is just from the interest rates being so low. If you wait and think you're gonna get this huge price reduction, that's probably not gonna happen, okay? So the best deal you can get right now is from the interest rates just being so low. I'll have to do the math sometime just to show you exactly how much you're losing if you try to, you know, if you try to wait for the market to come down and the interest rates spike back up, okay? The deal is gonna be in the, in the interest rate. Uh, condos, what we're seeing over there, not a whole lot of movement, more or less staying pretty steady. Um, we are seeing some more demand, at least year over date for the, the month and for the multifamily properties. I know it looks like there's a huge price cut and it looks like there's a whole lot less demand for it. Um, honestly, I think more what that is, is just the inventory is becoming more and more compressed as a lot of investors are moving from Anchorage because they're not happy with how, um, how the assembly handled COVID and they're moving over to the Matsu Valley. And so you are, starting to, um, you are starting to see more investors heading out that way. That being said though, um, not a whole lot of options for them because a lot of landlords are kind of holding on to their properties because the rents are going up and it does make it more profitable. So. That has been our summary for what's going on in the area. I sure hope it was useful. If you have questions, do reach out to me through my Facebook page. The link for that is gonna be down below or slide into my DMs on Instagram. That works too. So thanks for watching. See you next time.